All right, I'm down on my knees. Let's pray I can get up, okay? <laughs> Go ahead and smash that like button down below if this type of content inspires you. Hey everyone, it's Re here. Let me first start off today's video by welcoming so many subscribers to the channel. I woke up this morning and saw where the channel had grown a little bit overnight and I just wanna to say to all of my new subscribers, welcome, welcome, welcome. And I'm so glad that you guys have decided to join our online community. We have a lot of fun here. Everything is just kind of light and airy and lots of positive vibes. So hopefully you will continue to um, share in. Be sure to engage down below with me in the comment section. I love to get a sense of who you are and that is one way for me to do that. So, oh my goodness guys, where do I start? The world is, is a mess. I think the thing that I love about home organization is it's an area that you can control. And I think a lot of people are diving more into home organization because they just want some sense of normalcy. They want their spaces to be calm and serene because the world is everything but that at this point. However, I do still have hope in a better tomorrow. So don't lose sight of that, guys. Without further ado, if you are not a part of the channel, subscribe down below if this is the content that you enjoy seeing. And come on, let's jump right in. I'm gonna share with you everything that's in my organized pantry. All right, so first up is this little mail tray that's on the door. I think I bought this from TJ Maxx or either Marshalls. And I've had this up there for the longest. I don't even think it'll come off, but I used just a little chalk marker to write this. And initially I thought I would put a thought of the week up, but this has stayed up forever. And it just says the art of living comes when you can manage all that it brings. And this is not a quote from anybody. This is just something that popped into my head one day and I decided to write it here just for our own inspiration as a family to just continue to just put your best foot forward and um, play the cards that you're dealt in life the best that you can. A lot of times I'll keep mail up here but I just uh, decluttered the mail section so there's nothing here. These little clips I love to put like little important notes and things that my daughters bring home from school and yeah so this is what's on the door. So let's start down below to the snack area, guys. So right down here in this basket, here is where I keep all of the extra snacks. All right, I'm down on my knees. Let's pray I can get up, okay? <laughs> Let me share with you guys what's in here. We found these at Kroger, and I got them just a couple of weeks ago, and my daughters fell in love. I tasted a few, my husband had tasted a few, and these are probably gonna be a new staple in the snack basket in our home. So we grabbed two things of those. My girls love these little go-go squeeze um, fruit on the go and they're usually something that they take to school but they have been enjoying them here and it's so funny like I thought these would be just for my youngest daughter but my preteen she likes them too. I guess you're never too old for go-go squeeze right? <laughs> This is my oldest daughter's favorite cookie. They are these soft bake cookies by the brand Enjoy Life. One of the things that I love about this particular brand, as you can see, is that they are free of so many different things. Free from wheat, peanut, tree nuts, dairy, casein, soy, egg, sesame, sulfates, lupin, I don't even know what lupin is, mustard, fish, shrimp. So this is a really good brand if you have anyone in your house that has like food allergies. Um, obviously you do need to check the ingredients and um, make sure that the things that are in here you're not allergic to, but I definitely love this particular brand. What would your kids snack bin look like without Cheetos? So we buy the Simply, um, Cheetos cheese puffs. It's something about the cheese puffs that are like really, really, really orange that 
cause my youngest daughter to like have an allergic reaction. I don't know what's in that, but we find these at Kroger and I don't know what the difference is, but she's not had an allergic reaction to these. So these are the ones we keep in the pantry. Another thing that my girls love are these Annie Bunny Grams. Yeah, we like Bunny Grams. This is something new that we tried at our last grocery run and it's these waffle Belgian chips. Guys, they're really, really good. My husband was actually saying that he thought we should try to um, serve them along with like ice cream. And I thought, hmm, that probably be, would be really good. But we've already gone through one bag. So we have a bag left and the girls love them and I love them too. The serving size is only four cookies. So I was a little disappointed in that. They're really good. I'm gonna attempt to get up from this floor. Wish me luck. <laughs> Ah, okay, all right. And the little basket that's right on top of that, I just have some extra like medical supplies. All right, now this little tip may be helpful to any of my moms watching the channel. So I have to give a shout out to my twin cousin. And I say my twin cousin because we were born on the same exact day at the same exact hospital crazy right so she was telling me maybe about a year ago that the way she does snacks in her house is every child of hers gets like a portion of snacks for i think the week and she doesn't control how many snacks they get at any given time but once their snacks are all gone for that period of time they're gone and i'm like why didn't I think of that? That is genius because in my house, it has been a history of my kids. Mom, can I have a snack? Mom, can I have this? Mom, can I have this? Mom, can I have a go-go squeeze? Mom, can I have an apple? Mom, can I have a fig bar? And I'm like, oh my gosh. I didn't necessarily want to give my children free reign to go in and out of the pantry to get what they wanted when they wanted it because I was so fearful that like, we would literally have no snacks. Snack food. Can we just say this? It's very expensive. It's just a quick fix when really you should be eating nutritious foods and healthy fruits and veggies. But I get it, when you're a kid, you want junk. I want junk right now as an adult in this pandemic. So I do allow my kids to have junk and to splurge, but what I've decided is to take my cousin up on her advice. We have been doing this probably for about two weeks now and it has worked wonders. Okay, I can actually take a nap without my kids knocking on the door asking me, can they have a snack? So what we do is both of my girls have a little bag. They'll come into the kitchen and they get a chance to shop the pantry. Seven snacks every Sunday. And if they have leftover snacks at the end of the week, they just roll on over into the next week. And guys, this has worked wonders. Now, it doesn't mean that they can't come and get additional snacks from um, the pantry but what i've asked them is that any additional snacks be fresh fruits and veggies and wholesome things so they operate throughout the week with these snacks and going right up this row i have these little baskets that i bought years ago at target and these label holders are also from target so i have napkins down here i have candy right here we're not a big candy loving family but here during the quarantine if you're watching this from the future and you have no idea what i'm talking about we are in a state of emergency we promised our girls that we would do movie night like once every other friday so guys i have had to bring out the junk okay so we have so many yummy candies look at that do you guys remember lemon heads and sour patch kids we've got some whoppers and twix bars are my favorite so right here is where i keep our bread and up here is where i keep our foil on this shelf i keep additional canned goods right here in this tray i have all of my potatoes we love potatoes we've been doing so much with potatoes and potatoes um, i found stay really well in cool and dark places so i like to store our potatoes right here on this shelf i have some bubbly water i love espel Grano. and i also have my cutting boards these are oxo 
and I purchased all of these from TJ Maxx, but you can find these cutting boards at Bed Bath & Beyond as well. Here I have some lunch totes and I purchased these from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I cannot remember. Right here I have some chips. We have been loving these multi-grain chips. They are from Aldi. Right here is our baking basket. My husband has been baking his little heart out here since we've been in quarantine. And the majority of our baking um, flour and meal are by the brand Bob's Red Mill, just because my daughter has a lot of food allergies and sensitivities. And this is just the brand that has worked well in terms of her diet. I also have some little cookie cutters that we use during the holiday time. A snowflake and I believe also have a gingerbread man and I found these at Target right up top are just some paper towels right down here I have a little spinner and I have avocados you know how much we love avocados I also have some mandarin oranges and some apples on this shelf, I am just keeping two little containers with cereal in them. I normally keep two different types of cereal, but my husband loves Frosted Flakes and the girls have been loving Frosted Flakes as well. So we have two containers with Frosted Flakes. Chocolate powder. I have some pure chocolate nibs. I have some powdered sugar and I also have some crackers. So on this shelf, I have some spaghetti, some almonds, some baking flour, and some egg noodles. All right, so right here I have some zucchini noodles, some sunflower seeds, some pinto beans, and some rice noodles. These are red lentils. Right down here on this shelf, I have some grits. We also have some garbanzo beans right here, some quinoa, popcorn we obviously pop popcorn on movie nights and these are just some coffee beans down here I have some white rice some brown rice sugar and oatmeal and then right down here guys this is a new addition to the pantry I didn't purchase this I just simply moved this from a different area in the home and I just have all of my little bags from bags that I use to go out in the stores and the markets for shopping and produce to um, eco-friendly bags brown bags and plastic bags as well and that's it for today's video if you enjoyed the content that you see be sure to subscribe down below and join our online community we would love to have you and don't forget to smash the like button as well if this content is something that has been helpful to you all right everyone as always make your day beautiful the choice is yours and i'll see you in the next video bye